part of tutorial we'll uh, get something to print and how to print and to print you need a slicer the slicer converts the file to printer instructions it gives instructions it gives printer instructions how to print and for that we'll take the card we'll need it go to your laptop if you roll it up ok you can uh, insert your card in your laptop PC you can delete the files from it, this image shift delete ok and for uh, our first print we will need a slicer so we can use Cura or Creality I recommend your Cura is the best for that you must download it Just search Cura on Google, and this is Ultimaker Cura Power to use blah blah blah. Download for free for Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's uh, loading, it's downloading. After that, you'll install it and create an account. I already have it installed, so I'll just search it here. Run and submit, just to be sure, yes. Loading. Okay, so you installed Cura. The first step is to choose your printer. I haven't found Reality Ender 3 Neo, so I choose Ender 3 Pro. It's similar. So, or you can create your own profile. First, first you let's say you created your profile. Well, now you choose the material you use. Material Pla, generic. If you don't have any brand from here, generic and plug you have abs use it set abs if you have per g use per g plug those are my preview settings over here okay and now let's set these are the settings for the printer Standard quality by default. No need to use. You can have super quality, but it it will take longer to print. No need to modify here. In fill density, that's how much material will be printed. For uh, a mechanic part, I recommend you use uh, high density, like. 40, 50, 100. Printing temperature. This depends from uh, material to material. My preview plat filament worked perfectly with 220 degrees Celsius. Usually the people use 200 degrees. You can test and uh, find out what Temperature settings fits better for you. Build plate temperature 60 degrees. 
speed, print speed. For PLA, it's recommended about 50, 45, 50. Cool printing, yes, because it needs 100%. Generate support. If you have a, a part that needs support, this will build and you can remove it after. And build plate, build plate adhesion, it's recommended because uh, the printers usually have a wet bed adhesion problem. We'll get there too. And for the beginning, until you learn to print things, it's recommended to use build plate adhesion at least and support just for uh, while the stuff. Okay, so to let's say you don't have a background in the 3D designing, so you want to print something, go on Google and search Tingiverse. That's a library with a lot of things to print. Design for physical objects. Okay, so here you have a lot of things. Anything you want to print. Okay, I want to print uh, something for my server. Mm. I already have it in my PC, but where it is. You can search and find a lot of things. We've got maybe let's pick a random thing. Let's say cat toy. Let's print a cat toy. I'll okay. This one, yeah. So what you must do? Download all files. The download will automatically start after this. Okay. Extract the folder in another folder, the file from another folder. Browse. Desktop. New folder. Get toy. Okay. Extract. And here you have files and images. Images is uh, the product of how it will look like. This is not interesting for us. We are going to files. This file, catoy, right click. This is an STL file and must be sliced in G code. Open with Ultimator Cura. Wait a little. Okay, so here is our file. With the right click, you can uh, rotate this. Zoom, rotate. Okay. The settings are already made, but you can modify them from here. The only thing you must do is just press slice. And it tells you that uh, it will be done in almost 1 hour and 44 minutes and it will use 2.66 meters of filament. Save to disk. Ok, eject. And now we'll take the SD card and print. And really print something. 